Hi, this is a lesson on the literature component for the Form 5 and it is on the novel Dear Mr. Kilmer. The focus for the lesson today is the characters in the novel. In the novel Dear Mr. Kilmer, another character is Mr. Knight or Pa. Pa is Richard's father. He is also the younger brother of Roland, and he is a man of few words. Physical description. He is dark and brawny. He has a broad back, and he is tall built. Let's look at Pa characteristics. Pa is wise, evidence, one. As they followed the creek to a pool where deer often came to drink, they checked the direction of the wind and looked for a place to hide. 2. They placed themselves upwind of the pool so any deer that came to dream could not smell their presence. 3. Even though he felt sad killing animals, he understood that in order to keep on surviving, he had to hunt. Next, Pa is also understanding the evidence. 1. When Richard missed shooting the deer, he justified by saying the deer was already bolting and Richard would not have made a clean kill. 2. When Richard points out his thoughts about not wanting to kill animals, Pa gave him permission not to hunt anymore. In addition, Pa is also analytical. Evidence he could see that Richard purposely raised the rifle by a mere inch to avoid killing the buck. And he is also diligent. He is a diligent farmer like his father before him. He spent hours at his farm overseeing farm hands and tending to the cattle. Nonetheless, Pa also has negative characteristics. He is discouraging. Evidence 1. When Richard told his father he wrote poetry, his father could not believe it. He asked if Richard were teasing him. Number two, he did not want to listen to any of Richard's poetry, but reminded Richard not to let it interfere with his chores or schoolwork. Number three, he expected Richard to outgrow writing poetry as he thought it was just a temporary interest. Let's now look at Gus Knight. Gus Knight is Richard's older brother, is the eldest child in the family. He is popular at school and he is a terrific athlete. Physical description. Gus Knight is dark and brawny, just like his pa. Let's look at Gus's characteristics. First, Gus is brave, merciless or determined. Evidence. Number 1. Gus killed his first buck when he was much younger than Richard. 2. He stated that he did not feel any guilt or sadness when he killed animals. Instead, it empowered him and made him feel like a man. 3. Gus wanted to join the army and fight for his country. Gus is also concerned or persuasive. After the shooting incident, Gus told Richard he had to learn to fit in with the other people as he was worried for him. He also advised Richard to get into sports so he would get into good shape. Gus persuaded Richard to try baseball as Richard had a strong throwing arm. Now let's look at Gus's negative characteristics. Gus is hot-headed or impulsive. Evidence, he was furious when Richard missed the shot and yelled at him without an ounce of patience. When Pa told him to return to the cabin to pack up, he showed his annoyance by stomping away. He is also stubborn. Gus refused to let his brother shoot the buck. He wanted to kill it himself, but his Pa sternly stopped him, so he had to comply. Discouraging. He claimed that Mr. Kilmer was wasting his time on a small fry like Richard. He mentioned he hated poetry and it was sissy stuff. He said he would deny Richard as his brother if he grew his hair long and curly. 
After dinner, he advised Richard not to go around school telling people he wrote poetry. He did not want Richard to pull another stunt like signing the card for the Shermers and become an oddball. Let's look at Angie Knight. Angie Knight is Richard's older sister. She is dark and broadly built and slightly stout. Let's look at Angie's characteristic. First, Angie is responsible. The evidence. One, she took over her mother's role after her mother died when she was nine. She spent her days storing and canning food, cooking, cleaning, washing clothes and sewing. Two, Angie also helped with the planting, harvesting and caring for the livestock on their farm. Angie is also filial or sacrificial. Evidence, Angie stopped school at 8th grade to help on the farm. She gave up her life to provide for her family. And Angie is also loving and patient. She understood past behaviour as he had lost a brother and a wife. The next characters are Mr. and Mrs. Schirmers. Mr. Schirmer is Johan and Mrs. Schirmer is Frida. Characters, they are parents to Otto and Hannah. They are owner of Prairie House, a local tavern in Turtle Lake. They were originally from Germany but are American citizens. Physical description Johan is large, cheerful man with moustache, and Frida is tall, slender. She styled her hair in braids. Hannah resembled her, and she is a good cook. Let's look at their characteristics. They are cultured. Evidence. Johan was a student at the University of Haldeberg. He enjoyed history, literature, and art, and also classical music. He is also well-traveled. He went to Berlin, Paris, London, New York, and Milwaukee. He is also friendly. He entertained Richard at their house and told him he was welcome to their house. Next, kind. Frida is kind because she prepared delicious dinner when Richard was her guest. She also prepared a picnic basket for the school picnic. And... She knit a scarf for Mr. Kilmer. We have come to the end on our discussion for the characters in Dear Mr. Kilmer. I hope you will benefit from this video and then best of luck in your coming exam. That's all. Thank you and signing off. I'm Teacher Gan. Bye-bye.